So UPS comes, they leave you a package right over here by your front door. Do you open the front door? The answer is no. Do not open. Oh my god, that's a bad achievement. Hello, everybody. Grace still plays. We're back with more of the Total Masochism Simulator 2018. That's basically what this is. I looked at your guys' requests. So you want to do the house, the safe, and oh god, where is it? Oh no, the claw machine. Now I'm going to tell you. One of my YouTube buddies has tried off camera to disassemble the claw machine. His exact words were, please kill me. So I'm not looking forward to that. Let's do that maybe in the middle or last. A nice house. This looks like it would be, oh my god, 282 freaking parts. Are you kidding me? Crap. I wanted to start off with something easy. Instead, I started off with something satanic. Over here, we have lovely gates. Are all these... Why was that two parts? That went from 282 to 280, didn't it? Was there like a... Is there like a like a screw or something here? Eh. Let me use my powers of transmutation to rip this freaking place apart. I will say, I've... Oh, well, you know what? Hold on. We have to take a look real quick. Let's see how lovely this house is before I start destroying everything. All I did was let myself in, folks. I haven't broken anything else. Let us bask in the glory of this modern art-like abode. The floors are, like, made out of marble. What kind of freaking baller lives in here? What kind of BS is this? I'm lucky to have freaking tile and carpet over here in Florida. We have the beautiful polished granite. I don't know what that could be. Doesn't appear to be a lot of furniture in here. That's the only issue. How about if we go upstairs? Is there more glorious things upstairs? Not really. There's a bathroom uh, with no bathing items in it. Uh, also, this is, like, like I said, if only I could slow down the maneuvering a little bit. I seem to overshoot stuff quite, well, look at this area! I seem to overshoot stuff quite a bit because of how quickly you move. Is that, like, a sad little bathtub? It looks like a sad little bathtub. Alright, we've, we've looked at how beautiful it is long enough. Now it's time to rip this thing apart. So let's begin with these. Oh, I just... That was like so uneventful, it just flopped right down. That must have been the two-parter. Oh, of course, you could take off all the shrubbery and everything. The shrubbery comes off like it's a freaking Lego block. There we go. Just throw that to the side. See, this is, it's like uh, lawn care. This is how easy lawn care is, folks. I, did, did that crack? <laughs> My head just broke in half, no. This is terrible. This is what lawn care is really like. All you have to do is just grab your shrubs. You want to go ahead and trim those a little bit. Just lift them off the ground like so. And you'll have a beautiful Ron Popeil looking yard in no time. I don't know what this is, but it's got to go. Don't know what it is. Now, is this a piece or can you grab the grass? No, okay. So how about this? Is this a piece? Yeah, it is. So if we take all this apart, will this levitate in the air or will it fall to the ground? I have a feeling that it will levitate in the air. That's just my, my, my primeval senses telling me. Nope, totally wrong. Was 100% wrong. Fell right to the ground and now it's in a billion pieces. Did we break the ground? Because it looks like we cracked the ground over right there. You can see the fault line of sadness that we have created. I still can't believe that there's 261 pieces to this. Like, I, I don't know. It's got, oh my God, it's all the panes of glass. Uh. Oh, how satisfying. More. Yeah. Oh crap, I like I broke something with the glass. More. There it is. Fantastic. You know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hate myself for this. Let's try and take out Okay, okay, all right. I didn't mean to do that. Mother of Jesus, what's happening to the house? This is the scene. This is the scene from Poltergeist right now. That's what's happening. I was going to say, let's remove some of the base area to see if we can uh, compromise the structure of the house. We compromised the structure of the freaking house. You know what? Hold on, I'm gonna use my powers of, of majory here to grab this piece. Incoming! There we go. Drive that right through the heart of the house. It worked pretty good, too. Like I said, the only thing that really scares me is that sometimes in this game, things will stick together. 
like all these pieces of glass are all separate. Things will stick together and then you'll never know where that last piece is that you've been looking for went to. Compromise the structure. Actually, that didn't compromise anything. Let's, uh, let's try this. Comprom- Compromise the structure. What the hell? I took out like one wall before and it made the entire building go completely insane. Whereas I've, I've removed all of the load bearing supports over here. And this is still, I mean, would this work? Do we have any architects in the group? Have basically everything else. Uh, we've had, we've had computer experts. We've had submarine experts. We've had space station experts. Do we have any architectural design experts? Would this be able to remain up like this? I feel like probably it shouldn't. Um, let's continue to remove more stuff from the underside though and see what happens. I don't think I can grab this. I think it's too... Oh god. Okay. Yeah, some things are definitely happening over here. How about this? Can I remove... It just shot at me. It just shot at me like it was trying to get me to stop touching it. It was like, stop playing with my house pieces, you sicko. You've done so much trouble already. All the rest of this glass. You know what? Let's throw something through the glass. We haven't done that. Do we have a piece over here? There we go. Let's, um, I want a bigger piece. Where's, come here, come here, you. Yeah, you giant cement thing. Let's go ahead and throw this into the glass and see what happens. Uh, I missed. I missed completely. It doesn't look like the glass broke. Oh, the glass is levitating. All right. Whatever. All the floors are coming with me. All the... What is this tiny little piece? Oh, what the hell? I would never be able to find that. This is ridiculous. All the floors. Yeah. Some... It's weird because in this game, sometimes pieces will, like, hover off... Can I get rid of this? Sometimes pieces will levitate off the ground. But sometimes things fall as they should. Like, as you take out the things that are actually supporting the objects that are being supported, as you remove them, the other stuff on top of it falls. But sometimes it doesn't appear to do that. I'm going to go ahead and rip all this glass. Oh, we're starting to get a shift. Oh, 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 it doesn't like it. It doesn't like this. Oh, that was it. Timber! Part of the roof fell off there. That was... Let me grab. That right there. That was a little unusual. I wasn't expecting that. More glass. More glass for the glass gods. Come here. There we go. That's what I like to see. All of the broken glass. Like I said, there, there is... It's horribly destructive of me to say so, but there is something very, very satisfying about... Oh, my God. About broken glass. Um, now, if I remove this... Nope, they won't come out. So, yeah, the glass... Like, nothing can remove it unless you just smash it. If you smash the glass... There we go! Wielding a roof like a friggin' battering ram. If you smash the glass, it will come apart. You know what? I'm, I'm getting ready to go to go full-on frickin' crazy over here. Let's, let's bust down the kingdom's walls. There we go. 70... 67. We're gonna, we're gonna plow right through... Like, literally, we're gonna plow right through this. 44. Bring it home, baby! Bring it home! 27, not good enough! 18, look at better! All the glass has to go. All the glass. There we go. Nine. I think we're almost there, boys. Come on. Eight, seven, six. Good. Good. All right. Now that we've turned almost everything to rubble, does this count as a piece? Oh, it does. Does this count as a piece? Yes! Four... Three. That didn't count. But this does. Hold on. Two. Yes. One. Yes. Where's the last piece? Where's the last freaking piece? Ah, all the pieces just disappeared. All my pieces just disappeared. What the hell just happened? Is this it? Yeah, we did it. We got the house. Oh, man. Again, that's like total. Like I totally don't feel like I want to die right now. This is a great. This is a fantastic accomplishment for this game. All right, now that we now that we've destroyed destructed the house, we're gonna have to use our bombs. So let's bring it. Whoa, okay, no freaking bomb had to land right on the roof. Actually, you know what? This is fine. Let's open up a nice little pocket. I don't want to destroy too much of the roof, though. You understand? I just, I want the bomb, oh, if we could sit this bomb right on the patio, 
That's perfect. Right over here. Nice and slow. Nice and slow. Right there. Just, just hug the inside. A little bit lower. A little lower, Mr. Bomb. Right there. Perfect. All right, folks. Let's see what it looks like. Yes. Good. Oh, wow. I think that the bombs, as they get bigger, like physically bigger in the game, they seem to pack more and more of a punch. Look at all this. That's what I'm talking about. Giant flames. Sad pieces of house. This house is one of the most destructive things I've seen yet. Like, every piece of this house can turn into a million pieces. All right, one, one more time, one more time. So UPS comes, they leave you a package right over here by your front door. Do you open the front door? The answer is no. Do not, oh, oh my God, that's a bad achievement. YouTube, don't look at that. Don't look at that achievement. Oh my God. Oh, game developer. Don't name your achievement. That makes me feel terrible. Like that's probably, that's probably the most questionable achievement I think I've ever gotten in a game. All right. Oh, God. I'm going to hate myself for this, but let's go do the claw machine. Welcome to Disassembly 3D, the claw machine game. Looks pretty legit, doesn't it? Except in a few moments, you'll... Why is that cat moving? That's a stuffed cat, right? That's not a real cat, is it? Oh, my God. Can you play the game? Oh, I want this kitten. Come here. I want the kitten head. How do I... How... If I pull... Okay. So let's do this. Pull it forward. Yes. There. And now a little bit over to this side. All right. Give me that kitten head right there. Right, right, right there. Right there. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. How do I, how do I, how do I press it? I'm pressing it, right? Ah! Oh, crap. Okay. Well, crap. I just wanted to like push around here and see if I can hit some buttons. Oh, I've exposed all the wiring. This is going to be a pain in the ass. I can already tell. So, oh, I'll bet it's over here. There we go. Right? Oh, yeah. Oh, we missed. It's just like real life. It's just as bad. No. Oh, oh, wait, wait. It kind of, it kind of has it. Come on. Come on. Pull it up. Pull it up. What's it stuck on? It's stuck on this freaking horse over here. Get out of the way, horse. I don't. Oh, do we have like, do we have literal mass inside? Because when we hit it, the cat went flying. Give me the cat. Give it to me. Yes, wrap around the cat's guts very securely. Oh, we're getting it. We're getting it. Okay, now now lift up. Lift up. This friggin' horse is in the way. Come here. Get this horse. Get out of the way. There. You you go you go over here. Stupid horse. There. Okay, we're set. Now now pick it up. Pick it. Or how about this? Does no, that doesn't can I come on. Drop it in the hole. Drag the cat in the hole. Drag the cat in the hole. Lift the cat. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, Jesus. Okay. Ah. Uh, I think I've glitched out the machine. Like, I think I've glitched out the machine. All right. You know what? Screw this. I want my cat. I want my animal. There. There. We got the cat. I'm not going to lie. This is a pretty derpy cat. The fact that it kind of moves of its own accord, even though I don't want it to, is a little bit freaky as well. You can go ahead and sit over there. We're going to have to name that. Feel free to let me know names for the cat in the comments section below. Uh, what else do we have over here? We have a Rubik's Cube. Now, do each one of these parts count as a part? We've got a rocket ship. We've got a toy train. Can I use this to, like, beat all the other stuff inside of the... Oh, wow. Yeah, it beats stuff pretty good, actually. It doesn't appear that any of the any of the items count as parts, though. So, yeah, I can already tell this is going to be a pain in the ass. All right, let's start from the top and then work our way down. We've got all these little platelets over here that we're going to have to remove. Oh, I can, I can already tell this is going to be a real hoot. All right, so we've got some bolts over there. Now, are these screws? Oh, the tiny little things are, in fact, screws. All right, let's pull that off. How about you guys? I don't want to do that yet. Let's do this side first. The one thing I learned about this game, you want to do things kind of like uniformly. 
Because if you don't, you forget where everything is. And Lord knows, I have a hard enough time remembering this stuff normally. Especially considering we still have like 170, well now 166 parts left. Alright, so this comes off. Oh, hold on. Th look, there's an extra piece on here. There's this piece right over here. This freaking, what is going on with this freaking machine? It's going completely insane. How do I take this off? Why, this, th this whole thing is not coming off. Hold on, let's, uh, oh. There's a, there's a, uh, like a thing around it. You know what I'm talking about. A belt, basically. Can I remove this? Nope, definitely can't remove it. Is there a screw or something I have to remove? Ah, uh, I've got bad news. I just dropped the claw down, uh, and the claw disappeared out of the universe. I've had to restart this. I think this one may be a little bit bugged, because the claw is flat out gone. And I know that the claw is not zero parts. It can't be. All right, since the claw has a penchant for disappearing randomly. Crap. All right, let's go ahead and throw that over there. Since the claw has a penchant for disappearing randomly, let's see if we can do anything with it first. All right, the claw just fell to the ground. It hasn't disappeared yet, so I'm pretty happy right now. Let's take this and just kind of bring it over here. You know what? I think it's the damn spring. I think this friggin' spring is causing all sorts of havoc. Can I, like, disconnect this or something? What sort of things do I have to do to get this the hell out of here? Oh, there's a screw here. All right, let's remove that. Actually, there's a lot of screws on this box. I don't know what's going to happen when I remove all these. Um, this whole thing could come crashing down, and that would be a friggin' problem. Well, it hasn't yet. Uh, oh, this can come off? Okay, that's good. That reveals all the rest of that goo. Nothing's disappeared so far, so I'm pretty happy. We've got more screws, more screws inside. Actually, we have, how many screws do we have in here? Quite a few. Let's start taking all these off. Crap. I just removed this. It's starting to flutter through the air. That is not what I wanted. I did not want this to happen. I don't know what sort of odd things are going to be occurring now. Can I, oh God, can I put this back on here? No, this is an issue. We've got all sorts of things that still, oh no, 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 no. Don't fall. Don't fall. Just sit there. There's there's still way more pieces I've got to take off from you. No! It disappeared! I just took some wires off and it just went into the nether realm. No! Oh, man. That sucks. I can't complete it because the parts love to just disappear randomly. Well, that's unfortunate. Yeah, we're missing a ton of parts. That's unfortunate. I'm going to let the developer know about that because so, I want to take... I want to finish the claw machine, but I can't do it when half of the pieces, like, evaporate from the universe. And you can go beneath the ground, but they ain't down here. I don't know what plane of existence they shuffled onto. They're not in the middle of this thing either. Like, I thought maybe they had fallen into the body or something like that, but that didn't happen. I don't know where they went, but they ain't here no more. That means it's time to crack some safes, folks. Now, this safe, is this open or? There's no, like, buttons on it or anything like that that we can. Who's that? Oh, just like everyone else in the world. <laughs> is, that the, is that the safe code? 7331? It's got to be, right? Like, why else would that be there? There's no reason for this. Was this like... Hold on. Oh, it worked! It legitimately worked! Uh. Will you... You want to open for me, or...? A lot of... A lot of ominous noise but it's not actually moving it's odd it's not uh it's not twisting like no matter what angle i come from I mean, like if i go inside here does anything happen no not really i was gonna say if i go inside i thought maybe i could twist it like, oh by the way it's like we're trying to crack into the safe safe when we have the powers of teleportation inside of here delicious gold bars folks it's fine gold 999.9 .9, if you please one kilogram of gold that's a lot of money. I played Gold Rush. I know how much that crap is. All right. So the safe doesn't really want us to go inside, it looks like. So let's start manipulating it however we can. Oh. All the buttons just fly off. I had no idea. The safe is very small, like parts-wise. I'm kind of impressed that it's so tiny. Well, I found the interior chunks of the safe. This is what you gotta take apart, apparently. Look, there's all kinds of stuff down here. Hold on, we got more. Can I grab... Oh, this is this is actually pretty hard to do because you have to be, like, way inside of the safe paneling over here or whatever this is. The front of the safe so we can reach all this crap 
So can I start removing all of these? Oh yeah, they're coming off now. They're coming off now. There we go. Go ahead and drill that right out. No big deal. Man, being a safe cracker is easy when you can reach right inside of the inner goo. Now, can we get this little... Oh, crap. Hold on. I was going to say, if, if I can just... You can use your mouse wheel. Can I pull it this way? There we go. There we go. You can use your mouse wheel to fly around a little bit, which is good because... If you don't do it, you move too damn much. Boys ever wanted to see the inside of a safe? That's what it looks like, I guess. Um, now, can you... Yep, that piece just flops right off like it's no big deal. Can I come up here? Is there any additional... There we go. That comes out. All right. How about this piece? That comes out. Everything's slowly falling to the ground. Um, what's holding this on? I don't know. Oh, there's more pins upstairs. All right. Go grab all... Oh, crap. Hold on. Let's grab these pins. No, grab. Yep. Right. There we go. Right like that. Trying to aim is a little difficult. Oh, we got it. Come on, baby. Come on. Nice and smooth. Ow. All right. Yep. We're fine. We're fine. Everything's, we're, everything's looking good so far. We've got another pin right over here. Only 17 parts left on the safe. So the safe isn't hard because of the amount of parts. It's difficult because you have to you have to like maneuver in this tiny sad little area. I'm I'm freaking pulling bars right out. I'm pulling bars right out of the safe. I don't even actually know what's keeping the door closed. Maybe nothing. Oh, there's another one right here. All right, let's pull that one out. Now can I just pull the door open with no big deal? Nope. Door still hates me. All right. What other sorts of treasures do you want me to remove from you then? What is this? What is this piece? What is this random piece? There's a piece over here. Like it's just flopping around. I don't know what it's doing. It's just hanging out. All right, let's go down. Maybe there's more bits down here that we have to remove. There's a ton of gears and crap in the way. Oh, there's something laying over here. Oh, that's just just a random piece. There's only seven pieces left of this thing, man. I have no idea what happened. The uh, It totally worked fine this time. Like when I twisted the handle, the handle came off. Look at how, now it's easy. Cause we can take this panel off and I can do all the crap that I had to do inside of that sad little area. I finally get to do like, with tons of space. What a pain in the ass that was. There was no reason for me to have to put myself through that horror, except for the fact that the damn handle wouldn't open up. Oh, yeah. Things are coming right off now. Things are coming right off now. No big deal. Let's go ahead and grab all these little buttons. Oh, we're going to have this in just a minute. Now, I imagine once you throw a nice bomb inside of here, Things happen even faster. There's two parts left? What the hell? Where the- Oh. One part is probably here. There we go. So where's the last part at? There's one last part. Is it this little- this little area over here? Yep. That was it. We got it. The safe is ours. Let's blow it up. Three minutes, too. Once the door legitimately came open, it wasn't that bad. Alright. So watch. I just put in the code. Yeah. This time it worked totally fine. All of the goo opens up. Door swings open like so. There's all the delicious gold. Let's go ahead and drop down a friggin' bomb over here. Put it inside. You boys know what's gonna happen. Put it inside. Now you gotta close. Crap! Actually, you know what? It's better that this piece is off. Alright, now we gotta close the door. Here we go. Lock it up. Oh, can I not move it anymore? Oh, oh, it kind of, it, it almost wanted to move. You could see it. Hold on, let, let me try. There it is. Boom. Kind of locked. All right, inside we go. Go ahead and detonate it. And what will happen to this beautiful, lovely safe? So inside of here, this is what the inside of a safe looks like when it's getting exploded. Never thought you'd see this particular view, did you? Move things along. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. And the blowout begins. Even the safe could not... Oh, what's going on over here? What kind of glitchy insanity is happening over here? Oh, the buttons are flying everywhere. Even this powerful safe could not keep a trained expert from its delicious inner sides. All the gold is ours. Did it in 54 seconds. Although, to be fair, most of our time was just spent, like, fiddling around inside of it. All right, the safe and house are done. The uh, claw machine, not so much. I'll check back on that to see if, like, the parts don't fly apart. What's next? The TV? The hair dryer? Toilet? I should probably learn how to do that. We still have a train that we have to do. 
couple of small things, a couple of big things I always say. I haven't taken apart, let's see, the kitchen sink. Might as well do that, right? Robot. I'm curious how many parts are that. Oh, the antique car. I heard this was a real Satan pleaser too. I don't know if it's as bad as the as the claw machine missing parts, but I just heard it's difficult to do. Feel free to let me know what you think we should take apart next in the comment section below. Until the next time, folks, stay foxy and much love.